guys, this is chapter 3 of Supernatural Xmaria, so here we go. Dean woke up to see if the two lovebirds would be awake up, but he found them still asleep. So he took a picture of them. He smiled, looked at his brother, having some time with someone like Tony to love him in his whole life. Tony woke up and looked at Dean, and Dean smiled and shushed him. It went back to his room, and Tony smiled and went back to sleep. Sam woke up to go to the bathroom, and he heard Tony snoring. So it was a good Tony was having a good sleep. When they were sleeping, Sam sneaked out of the bed to the bathroom, attached to the bedroom. And when he was done, Tony was moving around because he was having a nightmare. Sam ran and hugged him and whispered in his ear, his lover's ear, Hey, love, everything's going to be fine. I'm here. I am not going to leave you, I promise, said Sam. Toy had stopped moving and Sam smiled and kissed his lover's head and went back to sleep with Tony in his arms. Toy was calm now that, that now knowing that Sam was there to for him when he needs him in his life. He smiled in his sleep and rubbed his head in Sam's neck. Sam smiled in his sleep. Dean smiled and saw the best thing in the world, and then it was good in, in his life. To see his brother and his new soon-to-be brother-in-law in his life, a new brother as well. He smiled and went back to his room to see Gastel in his room, and he was lying on in the bed. And they started to cuddle with each other. He smiled and they were having a good cuddle for us to worry each other. They heard a scream from Tully's room. They ran and it was Tully crying and screaming and Sam tried to calm him down. What is wrong? asked Dean. He had a nightmare, said Sam. Let me try, said Castell. Castell went up to his brother, wrapping his wings around him, and he started to sing for him to calm him down. He started to sing, You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. But when I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I bowed my head and cried. I cried, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I've always loved you and make you happy. Oh, if you will only say the same. But if you leave me in love another, you'll regret it all someday. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy when the skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You told me once, dear, you really loved me, and no one else could come between. But now you've left me to love another. You have shattered all my dreams. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. Tony had to start it to calm down, but it started to thunder, and he was crying and screaming, and then his dad had come and sat on the bed with Castell, and he started to sing the song his son was little when he heard fear thunder and lightning. Love, I first storm me night. Little child... Be not afraid, the rain pounds harsh 
against the glass like a wanton stranger there is no danger i am here tonight little child be not afraid though thunder explodes in a lightning flash in limited shirt Trist, in face, I am here tonight, and some day you'll know that nature is so, that some rain that whirls you near me, falls on rivers and lads, on forests and sand, makes a beautiful world, that you'll see in the morning. Little child, be not afraid. The strong clouds make mask your beloved moon, and its candlelight teams still keep present dreams. I'm here tonight. Little child, be not afraid. The wind makes creatures of our trees. And the branches are two hands, they're not real, understood. And I'm here tonight, and somebody will know that nature is so. The same rain that draws you near to, near me, falls on rivers and land. On forest and sad makes a beautiful world that you see in the morning. For you know once even I was a little child and I was afraid. But a gentle someone always came to dry all my tears. A sweet sleep for fears. And to give a kiss goodnight. Well, now I'm grown, and these years have shown that rain's a part of how life goes. But it's dark and it's late, so I'll hold you and wait till the frightened eyes do close. And I hope that you'll know that nature is so. The same rain that draws you near me falls on rivers and land and forests and sand. It's a beautiful world that you'll see in the morning. Everything's fine in the morning. The rain will be gone in the morning, but I'll still be here in the morning. So I was put to sleep and sound like they got. Is he okay? Going to be okay? Asked Sam. Yes, he is going to be okay, said God. Sam smiled and Dean looked at Sam and whispered in his ear, asking what happened, what had, what happened in here. So, Sammy, what happened in here what, that he started to freak out, said Dean in a whisper. He was having a bad dream of his past and he was not like being remembered of what he was being t- tortured by people in the mock all his life, said Sam in a whisper. Oh, God me. I should have been there for him in the start, said Caskell in a whisper. My dear son, it's not your fault, said God. But Dad, he is having memories of his past with those family protecting him, said Castell. I know, and now we would be there for him now, said God. Yes, Dad, said Castell. So let's have a tea for something to drink, or something, or, or something to drink. We have joy to wake up, said Dean. You guys go. I will stay with my boyfriend, said Sam. Got it, said Dean. The others, men and Dean, headed to the kitchen and went to the kitchen to the dining table to get something to drink and wait for Joy to wake up. They heard Sam talking to someone, they heard Sam walking and still talking to someone down the hallway. They saw Sam holy to a blush on his face, and they both laughed on him, what is going on with right now? Tolly smiled, rubbed his nose in the neck of Sam, 
The seven had started to blush from the reaction Joy was making it for him. Joy smiled, looked at his favorite pair, and then he made grabby hands and God picked him up. And Sam smiled and went to get himself a drink and a drink for Joy. He was happy he had someone to help him with Joy, and Joy's dad was here with them to help take care of him. He was finished making the drinks, so he smiled and looked at his best boyfriend who was playing with their dad, and it was a cute sight. He smiled and brought Toy's drink to him, and Toy smiled and looked at how it was nice and warm. And he started to drink the drink Sam made for him. He loved what Sam made for him. Tony, do you want to sit in Sam's lap? Said so asked Scott. Uh, yes, please, said Toy. Toy got off his dad's lap and went to his boyfriend's out in his boyfriend's lap, drinking his drink. Toy was content to stay on Sam's leg. He smiled and looked at his dad, and he smiled and looked at his two sons, having his their own boyfriends. Toy was happy he had Sam in his life, and Sam was happy to have Toy in his life. These two men are attached to each other to the hip, and no one can take them away from each other. Toy is Sam's light from the darkest times, and Sam's Toy's light in Toy's darkest times. These two is, no, is what Dean and Castell and God would love to see in their lives with each other. What would happen to them in the next chapter, final in chapter 4?